Neil and June Knobloch of Walcott, Indiana, wanted to find a project for their kids that would teach them the values of hard work, integrity, and honesty. My wife, June, grew up on a dairy farm, and I grew up on an Iowa hog farm. We're both from Iowa. So when we um, decided to move to Indiana, I took a job at Purdue. We thought back to our childhood experiences and, and how we grew up as families and how we wanted to pass that on to our children. And so um, having raised pigs and having my own project, I learned so much responsibility. That is what I continue to go back to even as a, as a professor at Purdue University. I, I think about what I've learned and where I learned and it was those formative experiences in high school. Raising pigs, believe it or not. Their oldest son, Grant, is 15. Um, well, we have 15 sows. We have eight brick sows. We have a corn sow, a spot sow. We have two dry sows. And um, we sell shell pigs, red gilts, and green stock. The Knobloch kids also market 20 to 30 fed hogs each year in their joint premium meat venture, Premium Beef and Pork. Nelson, 14, explains that when they began raising hogs five years ago, it started with just one. Well, actually when it started, it was just, it was mostly just Grant and I. He was 10, 10 and a half, and it was nine. I mean, it started out with one sow and brought it, it was bread, bread duroc, bread duroc gilt. Um, and then we bought two, two more to sell that fall. And I mean, it just kind of kept growing. Uh, a couple more here, a couple more there. Six here. I mean, it, we got a good herd to work with, and you, you always got to replace the old ones with something better. Perhaps replacements that you raised or growed and raised, or if you see, or if you buy one, you bring that in. Just you got to keep improving your herd so that you're always moving up. Along with their nine-year-old sister, Kedron, Grant and Nelson share responsibility for all aspects of their swine production. I kind of run the nursery and farming stuff, and then um, Nelson does all the stuff, most of the stuff with the sows as far as breeding and cleaning out, and then Kedron's our sidekick. I feed them and I walk them. While working together as a family, the Knobloks have learned it's not always easy to let the children lead their own project. Well, it has been hard because it's a lot easier to control and micromanage to get your way, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to learn um, in a way that will produce the long-term results you're looking for. So you have to let them make mistakes. Um, failure, failure comes with a price, but hopefully the price is not going to break you. So you allow them to make their choices, and they may make really good choices that you can praise and they make me they may make poor choices that you need to coach and coach them through what happened and how can we do this differently and so it is painful it takes more patience and you you hope then that they gain the experience and it's easier for you as a parent just to do it for them but you can't if you want them to really gain the experience that they need through managing their own swine operation, the Knobloch kids have learned the value of both personal responsibility and good teamwork. And from this, we've learned we've learned a lot of responsibility and how how you got to be able to work together and you got to be able to pick up something and do it, even if even if you don't want to, because it I mean it's got to get done. You got you got to be willing to take turns with decisions. I mean if you go if if you clash on a on on a decision, you got you got to be willing to. But, but or take turns on that, so it takes a lot of cooperation and it also takes a lot of work. You've got to be willing to work hard for what you, wanna, what you want. Through their extensive swine project, Grant, Nelson, and Kedron are not only gaining the knowledge of how to practically and productively raise hogs, but also skills that will prove to be invaluable as they continue through life's course. They really had to learn who they are as a person, and then they have to learn how to work together as a team and they're different and they're siblings and so um, a lot of this comes with what they're going to have to do in business someday. Um, if they go to college they're going to work on teams. If they go to the workplace they're going to have to work on teams. I think that's where a lot of this has come together. They said responsibility of course it's natural but what I see the value especially since they're being homeschooled they don't necessarily have to work broadly with people but guess who orders the feed? Guess who orders the, the vet supplies? Guess who uh, makes the decisions? Guess who does the, 
buying pigs, purchasing, um, making these purchasing decisions, they have to do it. Of course, I'm their coach. So that's the part, what they have learned is really what to take to be a business person and how do you work together as a team. Three years ago, Grant and Nelson brought their first home-raised hogs to a national show. It was, first time we came, I didn't realize it was going to be this hard, this tough, that competition is that, is that deep, that it's, it's not real easy to, you got to work real hard if you want to win. Since that first trip, Grant, Nelson, and Kedron have worked hard to improve their knowledge of their hog projects. All three placed in the top 10 in the Skillathon at this year's Team Purebred Junior National Show. The improvement in their swine breeding is also evident as they exhibited several homegrown gilts in the Junior Show, as well as a boar in the open class show and sale with great results. So I think actually having pigs 12 months out of the year, 365 days out of the year, that helps them make different decisions than if they were just purchasing pigs to show them. And it creates a much more, I guess, long-term long look. Breeding hogs has helped them learn to make decisions based on what they want to do in the future. And the Knobloch kids certainly have good times and good hogs in their long-term plans. Um, well, I want to kind of keep it up when I come back from leave for college and then come back and I want to kind of pick it up and keep it done and keep breeding virtues and have, have fun. For more information on the Knobloch family and their hogs, visit www dot goodtimeshowpigs dot com and www dot premium beef and pork dot com. For more stories around the livestock industry, stay tuned to finaldrive tv dot com.